Right, in this video we're looking at the retail edition, uh, the retail industry edition of uh, QuickBooks Premier and it will be the same in QuickBooks Enterprise. Uh, the things that it, it, it has when you first install the program you're going to see a pop-up screen and you're going to choose which edition, which industry edition you want to use. Right now again we're looking at the retail edition. So the first thing that I always notice is what changes on the home screen and here we have the instead of saying sales receipts we put in enter daily sales. So if you're entering your summary sales um, on a daily basis which we have some other videos on doing that. All right so of course they have the little drop down here specific to your industry your retail. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So this gives you, you can enter your daily sales, create estimates, create invoices, receive payments, make deposits, all the stuff you can do down here on your home screen, right? <clears throat> However, they do have the create sales orders here, again on the home screen, but the sales order fulfillment worksheet, this is a great area of the retail edition. It's going to pop up here, it's going to show you all your open sales orders, and you can sort them by date, ship ship date, order number, partially invoiced. Okay, You can also choose, so it'll check off all orders with the earliest order date, full orders with the earliest order date, you know, orders with the largest potential for revenue. <laughs> Always be checking those, right? Okay. Then you see here the detail of the, the uh, sales order that you have selected up top here. You could open it up by clicking on it, but down here it shows you the detail, uh, how many need to be fulfilled, uh, how many have ordered, invoiced, open. So it tells you all the information that you need to fulfill this, this sales order. Okay, for here you can also print out the um, pick list and the packing slips right from here, mass print them. So it's a neat little screen here, the sales order fulfillment worksheet. All right, then coming in, going down further, you have your enter bills, pay bills, vendor returns, so a bill credit. It's, uh, if you normally go into pay bills over here, you have to click on credit, but here you can click it and it automatically picks up credit. Okay, item lists, you can go straight to your item list here. You also have your inventory activities, some neat things in here. You can create a new item, that's not super special, but here you can change your item prices. So if you want to come in and change your inventory parts, okay, you can include your inactive items too if you want to here. So we're going to go ahead and say, you know, the new price is $450 and on this one it's going up in price, it's $250, okay, and select those to be changed. Or you know what you can do too, it's really neat, you can come in and adjust the price of these. So I want to adjust it by 110% based on the current price, adjust, so it picks that up too. All right. So I mass change the prices there. Uh, under retail again, inventory activities. <clears throat> you have your price level in here, so for your customers, if they're a wholesale customer, they might get a different price level than if they are a just retail customer. So you can set different price levels on your customers. You can adjust your quantity and value on hand. You have your physical inventory worksheet, your build assemblies. Then you have a, custom, a couple of forms that are just kind of standard, you know, um, an RMA form, a damaged goods log. Okay, so if you have some damaged goods, it pulls it up in Word. Okay, so you can fill this out and save it. And then of course we have our retail industry specific reports. Whoops, popped right out of it. Profit and loss by month, balance sheet, monthly comparisons, gross margin by inventory item, sales graphs, you can pull this up here and see your sales by month and then break it out by items down here. Monthly sales by customer, purchase volume by vendor, that's a great report to go look at because then you can see maybe you need to set up a different price level with that vendor. If you're buying a lot from them, they should be giving you higher discounts, right? 
vendor returns summary. How many vendor returns have you had? Okay. Open purchase orders by vendor. And uh, of course, your sales tax liability. That's a big one there too. All right. And of course, these reports can also be found right under reports. You have your retail reports section. So the same reports are right there as well. So that's a quick glance at the retail edition of Premier and Enterprise.